Hey everybody, found those uh, home movies. I'm videoing them off the computer and the uh, they're being run on the DVD player. So we're going to get this going. No promises, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens here. This is Washington, D.C. Union Station. Now that I've started that computer, move this one in a little more. Uh, yep, Washington, D.C. Union Station. Gosh, 1975, 1976, somewhere around there. Brand new Amfleets. Washington Metro. Uh, Ivy City. Ah, there we go. GG1s, SDP40Fs, uh, Circus Paint GG1, very cool. Uh, some terrible filming all the way up the corridor. Uh, this looks like Baltimore. Uh, so the new E60s back there. Silver liners, maybe I don't know the those too well. I think we just stuck the camera against it and filmed everything that came by. I'm passing a dart swinger. I don't know if that's Newark or. Okay, that's Staten Island Ferry. We'll pause here and find some more trains. There we go. Long hood forward. Now, uh, Alexandria Union Station. Wish I had uh, audio of these, but we didn't have that on our camera. Boy, that neighborhood has changed for all the people that commute on VRE now. And if I'm not mistaken, and looking at this earlier, this is the P30CH Pooch 713, which on October 26th, I rode the head end on our Amtrak survey out of Phoenix, held towards El Paso. They were big, loud, slow, accelerated slowly. Not the... Uh, not the speedy F40s you could break a train in half with easily, or the good old F's and E's. But hey, they were new power and they had head end power, so got rid of the steam generator cars. Yeah, that's under, is that King Street, I think it used to be? Okay, now this is a regular E8 or E9. Apparently, I filmed the same way when I was uh, 15 or so. No tripod or anything. 421. I'll have to figure out where that one came from. That's probably a Silver Star, the Silver Meteor. So you're getting up and going faster than that uh, brand new pooch. Stick that thing in run eight and just go. Oh, great, didn't film the whole train. Uh, Soxy the cat. <laughs> Wait for some more trains. And this should be the Southern Crescent with my dad on it waving. This is out in Burke, Virginia, which I'm sure I wouldn't even recognize now. I think it was March 18th, 78, if I remember right. They're waving out of one of the Dutch doors. There he is. <laughs> And when you see it again, you see the two uh, Amtrak sleepers twice a week. Oh, there's Alexander Station. Uh, the Bicentennial decals. A uh, little uh, 630. 
doing the southern excursions. Pouring it on. I'll have to do a little research. I don't know if 6.30 is still down at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum or what? It's like a miniature 4501. Ah, there's me and Graham Clater. I'm bugging him. It's a windy day. Oh, I wish I had audio of this. Not the most powerful uh, engine that Southern ever used on its steam excursions. Probably the best was that one I found uh, when they used that old Texas and Pacific uh, 610. I think it was a monster. But it was pretty neat on Saturday mornings back there. You could, uh, you got used to hearing steam whistles on excursions in the spring and the summer. You didn't think much of it laying in bed and yeah, hear steam whistles. Just kind of got used to it. Didn't realize how magical that really was. Oh, back to uh, Washington, D.C. Alco powered am fleet <laughs> moving it around. Southern business cars. Oh, those are the B&O uh, RDCs they used as commuter service. Silver Spring, Maryland. Oh, I hope this is the one that has the Western Maryland Fs. It just might. And caught, caught them from the train. The uh, dark green ones. Not the circus paint. Well, you never know. Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, westbound. T-33, <laughs> uh, wherever that is. It's probably up in Cumberland. I think that's where we took the train. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is when Chesapeake Bay froze, so we'll see if there's some more trains. Yeah, my brother made this film, one of the Southern Railway patches, and an Amtrak bumper sticker. Oh, blizzard of 77. Yeah, yeah this isn't a blizzard video, though. Yeah, that was a pretty good snow for uh, the Washington, D.C. area. So my brother uh, decided to nail the camera to a board and put it between the tracks. So I'll scoot up here a little bit. This is probably the uh, James Whitcomb Riley. Using too many computers here. When I 
think he did one on the crescent because I think you can see the uh, E8s when they go by. Boy, that's pretty faded. Yeah, that would be the crescent in the evening heading to Atlanta. Going through that good old southern uh, double double main line signal bridge heading uphill from Accotink Creek. Wish they would have rather just filmed the train <laughs> instead of the the lower section, but oh well. Can only imagine how muggy and damp it was right then. I don't know if there's any more on this one. <laughs> 